I wanted to come out and just take a quick video of the next project that I'm going to be working on because I think it's really cool. Um, it was given to me by a friend of mine. Uh, it was her grandmother's. It's a piano bench. Uh, it definitely needs a bunch of work. Um, it's got some severe issues, honestly. Uh, but I really think that I can hopefully pull it together and make something out of it and make it look pretty again. So have some ideas I wanted to share and then I'm going to get started on it. So I just wanted to let you guys kind of see um, some of the things that I work on and um, kind of where they start. And uh, this is a special project to me since it was uh, given to me by a friend. So I'm kind of excited to, to get it done. So anyway, here it is. So this is the piano bench. Forgive the lighting, it's not the greatest in here. Uh, you can see it's got a lot of wear. Um, there's some holes. There's a random nail sticking out here. Really not sure what that's there for, um, other than maybe they were trying to keep the pedestal legs straight on the bottom. I'm not really sure. Um, this is where the veneer is kind of coming up some. Um, Around back, you can see there's a pretty good crack here that we're going to have to do something about. I'm hoping we can nail it up and get it square. The hinges have a little a little give to them, so that should be fun to try and fix. Um, other than that, the mechanics of it need some help, but she's a beautiful piece. Um, it's got a lot of character, so I don't think I can save... The veneer. Um, there's some holes in the middle of it that are starting to come up without having to remove all of the veneer, which I really don't want to do. So what I decided is I'm going to put a cushion on it. So um, I got this fabric. I think it's beautiful. Um, I love the color of blue. And so I'm thinking I'm going to paint the bench white um, and then I'm going to put a cushion and upholster it with this fabric. So give you a little better view. And I think she's gonna be really pretty when she's done. It's just gonna be a little bit of work. So we'll see how it goes. Um, my husband said he would help me with some of the squaring up, gluing, nailing, that kind of stuff. But first things first, I'm gonna get the lid off, uh, give it a paint and um, get it upholstered so it's ready to go. And then we'll see about the rest of it. So wish me luck. Well, work continues on the little piano bench. Um, my husband tried to put a couple nails in it because it wasn't really square. And unbeknownst to him, in one of the corners, there was a little metal ring. Um, so we ended up actually breaking a piece off. You can't really tell where it is anymore. Um, this is Durham Water Putty. Uh, it fills in holes and gaps and cracks, um, dry solid like wood, and then you sand it down and you can't even tell that there was an issue. So I've got that over all the screw holes um, and the little gaps in the wood where it's just starting to not seal up quite as well as it used to. And then there were some screw holes in here. I don't know where those came from or what they were for because there's no hardware that goes in there. Um, other than that, uh, when I was working on that, I noticed down here, um, the dowels had come loose here and it was just kind of wobbly. And so I filled that with Gorilla Glue and we've got, don't have a clamp long enough, so we've got two hooked together, um, pulling that tight. So that'll have to sit probably until tomorrow and then uh, hopefully we'll be good for paint. The other thing I did notice that I'm going to have to do though first is um, the bottom's a little a little loose. So I think I'm going to take my staple gun and just pop a couple of staples to keep the bottom where it's supposed to be. Uh, and then other than that, she should be pretty structurally sound and ready for paint. So um, I'm excited for that step. That'll be kind of fun. So next up it'll be sanding and uh, cleaning and stapling that bottom down and then we'll be on to painting so it's getting there okay well the next step is cleaning it um, I got all the wood putty sanded and so all the edges are smooth so it looks pretty good 
So the gaps will be basically gone when I paint it. You won't even know that they were there. So that's pretty exciting. Filled in some holes. So you can see the corners. Um, I glued the heck out of this corner so um, no more it's not loose anymore so hopefully that won't come apart again and did a little bit of wood repair here I can't really see it but I filled in a couple nicks um, that were there and so the next step is gonna be to wash her down with some crud cutter and then it'll be on to paint and I'm super excited. Oh, and I did tighten up the, the bottom with some um, staples. So it's all stapled nice and tight again. So no more worry about the bottom falling out. So anyway, uh, next up, clean up and some paint. And I'm super excited to get a coat of white paint on here. I think I'm actually gonna shellac it first just to make sure I don't have any bleed through. Um, and then I will paint it, spray it white, and then I will go over that with uh, a couple coats of some chalk paint. So, stay well, can you believe this is the same piece that I started with? I can hardly get over the transformation. So, I still have one coat of paint to put on the base, and then I had a little issue with a little bit of bleed through. You can kind of see the pink kind of coming out in the crack here. So I put another coat of shellac on that, and I'm hoping that that will keep it from bleeding through the white paint. But this thing is just so cute now that it's white and all glued together and all the nail holes are full. And uh, I, I did leave some of the blemishes because that just depicts its age. I, it's an antique, so it's not supposed to be perfect. So, um, but, and then the other thing I did was I repainted the, excuse the walkthrough here, um, the hardware. So it's going to be a pretty, pretty brassy bronze color when it goes on. So it'll look all shiny and new. And then, uh, in a bit, I will take a video of the top and it turned out beautifully as well. So super excited, almost there, uh, get the last coat of white paint on here and then, uh, it'll just need a coat of wax and then this part of it is done. I just wanted to kind of show you guys when I sprayed these, there were like rough patches on them from, it looked like old paint or something. So I went ahead and re-sanded them. Sorry, the video's not exactly, there you go. So you can kind of see, I took some really rough sandpaper and roughed them up a little bit. So I'm gonna repaint these guys and then they will all get a coat of poly acrylic um, and then flipped over and then painted and then a coat of poly acrylic and then they'll be ready to go on the bench. There it is, all done. Finally finished. Took about four coats of paint. Then I had to distress, do a little sanding had to touch up paint in places. <laughs> then I waxed it with a clear wax. Then I attached, with the help of my husband, the top. I uh, got that all done. So you can see the hinges have been painted and look all new and pretty. And the interior is all nice and white and nice and sturdy, which is good. It looks like a brand new bench. I'm really happy with how it came out. You'll have to give me a comment and let me know what you think. And I'm on to my next project.